Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn Just Be with Mahesh. First of all, wish all Indians a happy Independence Day. So it's our 75th year, so really happy. And a small uh, further happiness is what I would like to share. So this is my 300th YouTube video. So I'm really also excited. So, um, so, so with this, let's just get into a small demonstration which I wanted to show, which is primarily towards uh, Indian independence uh, how can I use those uh, important uh, events, days, all those things? I would like to show something uh, with respect to GCP, uh, a different approach. So let me know whether it looks good. And by doing this, also we'll learn some more GCP concepts. So let's get into it. A quick shout out, I'm starting my batch uh, two uh, for professional data engineer. If you're interested, please drop me a mail or uh, reach out to me on this uh, links and I should be able to share you more details on it. Similarly, I'm also starting my batch nine in uh, cloud architect. So if you're interested, drop me an email. So let's get into this uh, uh, the happy Independence Day mode. How do we do basically something with those important events which has occurred in India? So I would like to show something uh, regarding that as a small demonstration. All right, we are in our uh, GCP console. First and fourth, uh, most thing. So a few things when, when it comes to GCP. First of all, it's the project ID. So project name, all those things. These are very unique stuff, but project name can be changed again and again. So let's make it that one. So things which I can make it as much as possible uh, more towards the uh, Indian independence. So let me go to the dashboard and change the project name. And this is how I usually do uh, projects. So now, we know how to do this. So, happy independence day, India. So, that's the first concept which we learned. So you can change your project name whenever you want. So done. So the next important stuff when it comes to uh, GCP is uh, whenever you are creating virtual machines and all the sub network, the network is important. So let's go ahead and create uh, a VPC. So let's call this as uh, you can give a name, any name. So uh, as long as it is unique in the current project, you should be all good. Uh, so uh, Indian freedom. So that's the VPC name. So I'm going to create a auto uh, custom mode auto mode is not a good choice so auto auto mode is only for self-learning purpose so when you are uh, exploring GCP but when you do into production it has to be a custom mode so let's create that so the capital of India so Delhi is what I'm going to make it as a sub network so the region fortunately we have a region in Delhi so that's what I'm going to do and IP address range so basically I wanted to make 15th August 1947 can I create in that range absolutely possible so 15th uh, August 1957 uh, 47 so I have to make this as my last sub network range so this is not going to be RFC 191918 uh, so I'm going to confirm that so what I'm going to do is so I have the last 8 bit uh, left so which is going to be used for my IP address creation. There I'm going to show you how I can create an internal IP address with 15th August 1947. So we are going to have a virtual machine with that IP address. So that's one thing. So it's always good to turn on um, the private Google access. That's going to be a very good option. So and let me have a firewall rule if I want basically. So or I can create a specific firewall rule based on my choice. Anyway, I'm not going to SSH into it. So I'm not going to create a firewall rule. So let me click on create. So this is going to create me basically a VPC and a sub network. So once this gets created, we will basically go and create a virtual machine. And specifically, I wanted to show how you can reserve a internal IP address. So let's just wait for the VPC to be created. Awesome. We have our uh, VPC created. So we have it in Delhi, uh, the capital of India. So this is the CIDR range which we have. Now it's a matter of creating a virtual machine. So let me go and create a virtual machine. And I would specifically wanted to show 1947, 15th August 1947. So for which I'm going to create a, a VM. So 
so I have given the name as happy independence India 75 so I'm going to create a VM in Delhi I can only create it in Delhi because I have sub network only in Delhi so this is another new concept basically for people who are looking into GCP for the first time so I can restrict where I can create it so I wanted only the VM to be in Delhi so in any three zones is fine so I'm going to create it with a little powerful stuff so one vCPU 3.75 GB of RAM so the highlight of the entire stuff is going to be um, the network piece where we are going to create a so we see the VPC Delhi and this is the highlight so I'm going to create an ephemeral IP address where I'm going to reserve it and I'm going to call it as um, uh, India rocks and I'm going to basically choose the IP address now it has to be as per the CIDR range so we have planned it very uh, well so that the last 8 bit can be changed so 15th August 1947 so the day where we got independence so that's it so this is going to be reserved so when the VM gets created this is going to be still uh, it, this is going to be the VM which is going to be allocated and the biggest part is um, even if the VM is deleted the IP address is going to be uh, preserved so it is very clear the independence was that on that day so simple so I don't need any external IP address uh, so it's not a good choice to create VMs with external IP address it's always needs to be with a load balancer if you want to expose something so that's another important stuff so that's it let's go ahead and create the VM so so first we saw project name can be changed so we change it according to our need now we are creating a VM where we have decided the CIDR range the internal IP address external IP address we don't have control but internal IP address we have control so and I have made sure we can have a VM with uh, the independence day uh, based on that so we should be able to see the VM in next few seconds so that is going to show that part so I can remove certain columns which may not be important now so for example uh, label stuff external IP address we don't need that so now we see this folks 15th August 1947 so I have made that as the IP address awesome so the next part is basically I wanted to show um, the flag so which is the identity for every Indian so for this one I'm going to use this uh, zone printer example so we have seen this in our uh, we in our session itself so in one of the videos where we talked about the smartest load balancer so that's the same thing which I'm going to use so what I will be doing is I'm going to create a cloud run instance so cloud run instance which is going to be basically provisioning uh, stuff in Mumbai so when it gets provision in Mumbai it is going to show Indian flag so let's just wait for this so I guess I have already created one let me just delete it all right I've just deleted it so let's create this so the image is going to be this one so and the name is uh, Jai Hind uh, so and I can make it in Mumbai so the code is written in that way so if it's Mumbai it's going to show uh, India flag so that's it I guess today uh, these days the number of allocations which you can have is only 10 instances so I'm going to change that and I'm going to make it public so everybody can access this so uh, let's wait and see uh, the instance gets created once the instance gets created you should be able to see it now by doing this what you understand is with cloud run you can easily uh, create a web application if it is containerized so we have it already so now if I click on it I should be able to see uh, the engine flag Jai Hind so the next piece is a bucket so if you have a bucket and you can create a bucket and the bucket name should be unique and what we will do is we'll create a bucket with uh, Happy Independence Day India and we'll try to upload an image so that's basically the Tirang basically me in standing in front of uh, the Indian flag so I have taken a photo so I'll upload it and I'll make sure it is going to be uh, visible to everybody so let me just do that so by doing this small activity so we'll see how we can create a bucket uh, and the bucket name should be uh, globally unique within the GCP ecosystem so 
happy uh, rocks so the name is basically I have to make it in a lower case so this is a learning so you have to make sure because whenever you do terraform you'll be knowing that uh, the name should be basically important all the names in GCP whether you give it for a virtual machine, whether you give it for a Kubernetes cluster or for a bucket, it has to be in lower case only. So happy independence uh, day, India. So 75 uh, we rock. So that's the stuff. Now, where should I create it? So I want this to be accessible uh, at least in Asia so what I will do is so I'm going to make the availability high so I'm going to put it in Asia or if you sp feel that it has to be only within a specific region you can go with region so where we can select uh, Delhi as the region so this one if you create it you are going to have very low latency so good and I'm going to create basically standard storage class and for this demonstration purpose, I wanted a particular object to be made public. So I'm going to use fine grain access. So click on create. Now, once it is created, so we'll upload a small image which I have already taken. So let me upload that. So go to downloads. Hargar Tirang. So that's the slogan which we have for this uh, uh, year. So I have also taken a small uh, selfie. So if I just show this, you should be able to see. So you should be able to see me and uh, uh, our Indian flag. So let me just make it as a public. How can I make it public? So this is also a new thing which I wanted to share. So this is for um, individuals who are learning GCP. So in very simple terms, how can you connect uh, India, Indian independence and GCP is what I wanted to primarily show. So this may look very, very basic for uh, people who are already uh, cloud architects, data engineers who are working in GCP for a long time. So, so let me make it public. Done. So I'm going to get a public URL. So if I type this, I should be able to see it. So that's what you see it. Let me just zoom this. That's what you see it. So that's a video which I wanted to share where I wanted to basically um, show uh, important concepts of GCP. At the same time, I wanted to basically everyone to celebrate, uh, all the Indians to celebrate uh, the happy Independence Day, which we are uh, doing. It, it's because of a great sacrifice done by our uh, uh, freedom fighters. So uh, Jai Hind and uh, hope you like the video. Thank you for watching.